Yesterday, Gaijin announced 50% off pack sale for every starter pack in the game. And the only nation not to get a 50% off pack is Israel. And that is because they don't have a starter pack to begin with. And this would be a pretty boring video if I just yapped about starter packs for a minute. Instead, this is my opinion of the best and worst nations in air and ground. And these ratings are based off of like the end game, so top tier air and top tier ground. The worst air nation by far is Germany, for obvious reasons. Next up, I'd say Britain, just because they're a fascination with air to ground striking, along with the air superiority being right now a gripping with our darters which are pretty mid next up i'd say sweden because his gripping gets access to am 120s but it's still lacking a lot of variety italy's in the same boat as great britain except they actually get an f-16 adf which is pretty good and their gripping is better with better missiles next up i'd say russia they do have some really hunky aircraft and rely really heavily on their missiles and yet the r-77s are still the worst rated fox 3s in the game after russia you have china which is pretty much just a copy and paste kind of early tier and then you kind of got the j-10 this update and the jf-7 Team, which are really good. After China, of course, you have France. They get access to Magic 2s, Mikas, and of course, AM120s with the F-16s, and Mirages are just fantastic. After France, I would say Japan, because they are pretty much just an American copy and paste, and they do get one of the best variants of the F-16. And then we have Israel, just another American top-tier copy and paste. They do get some really good missiles like the Derby, and of course, they get access to the AM120s now. And that, of course, leaves the United States. They just absolutely run 12.0 to 12.7 with the Phoenix missile spam. In addition, F-16s and F-15s with AM120s go absolutely crazy. As for ground, by far the worst nation is Italy. There's nothing special about them. Next up, I would have to say Great Britain because they are very slow and their small liners are kind of doo-doo. Then of course the United States because teammates are atrocious, but they do have a five second loader, although it's not an auto loader. Then I would say France ground. They do have some pretty good stats, but in game they kind of perform subpar. Followed up by Israel, which is just for Kava spam. You tend to be repairing your engine like 90% of the game just because of its placement. After Israel, I'd probably say China. They pretty much are just Russia, except their lower plates are just slightly weaker. Then of course after that would be Russia. They have the speed and the armament to go absolutely nuts, except they just aren't survivable at all. After Russia would be Germany, they do have some of the survivability that is needed to do very well on top tier ground. They also boast a really good speed and a really good armament, but they aren't the most survivable. And neither is Japan, but Japan goes full on just attack mode. Their reload rates are just absolutely insane. And then the best ground nation in War Thunder right now is definitely Sweden. They do lack a little bit in all offensive armament, but they have spall liners on basically anything and everything. So they are the kings of survivability.